السلام عليكم أنا وسهلا بالجميع Welcome everybody to this tutorial It's about IO stream in Java Before we get started Please don't forget to subscribe the channel Stereo 007 You can join us on Facebook uh, Facebook.com Dev Ahmad Nasser This is the actual page You're welcome to visit us all the time First thing let's talk about IO stream Let's see and talk about the component a little bit we have the file output stream we have the file input stream we have a program we have a file we have our OIS which is the object input stream we have object output stream and we have serializable object so let's count one two three four five five component are playing the rule in IO stream for local file so first thing you need to define a file output stream File output stream is the connection between your program and the file. So we have a file, let's say myfile.txt. You just put it inside the file output stream. So you need to read that file, you just put it inside the file input stream. Okay, so this is very important. First thing, what you want to write? You want to write something. You want to write object. We're talking about Java, object oriented. You need to write something into the file. So first thing, we have an object and this object is the red box here it's the serializable object okay this is the object they used to be written into the file so we take this file and move it in across the stream using the file output stream and we need other object which takes this file output stream and write it directly into the file so we need OOS which is the object output stream so object output stream gonna take this file, this object from this stream. Okay, we gotta take this file output stream, take it to the object output stream, and write it directly to the file. So we will have this. We will write OS will write the this object. So we will get this file into this object into the file. The same process when we need when we need, when we need to read the object from the file we just need the opposite direction we need the file input stream file input stream the same thing we're gonna take this object move it across the file input stream take this file input stream and move it to the object input stream and input object input stream gonna read the file from the object from the file so we're just gonna read it and here we got the object on the client on the program okay so the, the the same the same rule applied when we talking about IO socket or uh, IO stream via network we talking about socket here we have a URL like lo, you know localhost www something uh, 1.09 1 1.6001 the IP address which is the same as the URL and we have the port the port is the number uh, of the socket service, you know, number for the service of the socket. So, for example, we have uh, port number 80 for the HTTP service. You can define any socket here, any, ser any I'm sorry, any port, okay. So, if you say, okay, I need the port to be 6000, you can use 6000 here. Okay, first thing you need to define the circuit. This is the blue box here between the client and the server. So this is very important. And after this, we need to define the output stream, okay, for that circuit. So, okay, we have a circuit. Okay, we're talking about the circuit, which is the connection we need to connect with the circuit. So we get the output stream from the circuit. And the same thing we get the input stream from the, from the circuit. Okay. So when we when we need to write into the server, okay, we have a file, the same thing. We have a serializable object. We move this serializable object uh, via the output stream and move it to to the object output stream, okay. And object output stream, the same thing, gonna write the serializable object into the server. So basically, we gotta do this. The same thing, the opposite direction. We wanna um, call or we wanna take the output from the 
we want to call the take this object from the server we need to use import output string so the same thing the server gonna output the object and we're gonna take it from the input here so input output stream is gonna take this object and write read it you know we don't need to write we need to read from the output object stream into the input output input uh, object stream or the object input stream we read the serializable object and you know just get it back to the client whatever it's the same object or it's another object but it must be serializable okay so let's take a look into the code when we do this first thing I showed you in the previous tutorial about the the you know the driver uh, the serializable object we created a person the class here serializable object has a name ID address constructor and we just see how to write this into a file so we have two methods the first one is save to file we just give it the person okay we just define the file output stream and we just say OS the write object when we read we need to take the file input stream equal new file input stream and just you know object input stream take this file input stream and we need to say okay we need the iOS to read object and we need to cast this into a person and just get it back return it here okay this is the for the previous tutorial you can watch it in the, the channel I will put the link down there in the description you can go and watch that but let's see the server code we have first we define the object that we want to pass into from the client to the server uh, implement serializable just has a value we just give it a string value we just pass it we have uh, the client so client pretty much has a we just import the .NET the Java IO and uh, we just use in G option bin here and because we want to take the data from the client so this is pretty much we first we need to start the client just want to show you what is this gonna work gonna do just start the server run the server okay we run the server we just go to the client we just type any number any character from digits and characters and say okay this message is gonna pass to the server via output stream and we're gonna return the the string and the, the number of digits in that string and the number of characters in that string so how we did this basically as we see in the the description the slides uh, we just created a socket with a URL and the port we just define an output stream equal as the git output stream okay as you can see here but in order to take the output stream we don't work with file output stream we work with um we we are working with a socket so we need to get the output stream from the socket so we see s the get output stream and the same thing for input stream um as you can see here we just define the ob object output stream for the output stream okay and we define the message implementation here and we just take it from the g option bin here put it inside a message we just write this into the server we say OS the write object okay we write this object the server is gonna take this by using input stream uh, you know by the same thing we just define here circuit in the server we define the server circuit so we just have a port the same port we communicate and throw the same port we uh, define the server circuit and uh, you know here we just take SSS just accept just you know take the circuit same circuit we work in the same circuit but in order to take the same circuit we just define server circuit and say SSS the accept after this we just define an uh, import stream as the get import stream and we take we define also uh, an output stream output stream is gonna take uh, uh, you know object input stream is gonna take the input stream okay we're gonna cast the input stream from using read object method and take get back to a message input object okay 
and uh, we have the message now okay we have the message and uh, it's in the server okay we can uh, count the digits in inside this um, string this is uh, this uh, message implementation object we have a value inside this message so we just count the digit here count the number of characters okay and assign them to the str the str uh, string here we have we have a static string here we just assign the number of characters it's a string we need to send it back to the server with a number of digits and number of characters so all we need to do is using the object output stream we have the as the get output stream and we know where did we got this we get this from the um, output stream here so we say we, we take the second get output stream and we send it back to the client via output stream so say object output stream the right object and we close all the stuff we close the input stream we close the output uh, we close the um, socket and we close the uh, server socket and don't forget to close the input stream here so this is pretty much we send it back and the client gonna you know after we send it gonna take it from the f take the output stream and the same process we're gonna take the output stream convert it to an object from type of string because we send the string here we just you know and after that just you know print out into the screen uh, the the number of digits and characters retrieved from the server okay we close the output stream we close the circuit and we close all the stuff here so this is a pretty much uh, how the IO stream is working whether it's on the local file or via network you know via circuit so this is pretty much for this tutorial again don't forget to subscribe the channel i hope you like it guys don't forget to subscribe stereo 007 ahmad nasser is all time with you any help i am ready to help you just put a comment send me an email or you can join us with a facebook page div the ahmad nasser so appreciate you watching see you in another video thank you